everybody, Ann here, and I got my Dasher hat on. I have been sitting here for 40 minutes and not a single order, and then I started getting, like, bad error request thingies, whatever. So I uninstalled the app, reinstalled it, still no orders, and I really, really needed to, to work today and earn money. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is it's a probably a bad day to dash because it is really really cloudy and rainy and overcast and whenever that happens uh, the app kind of freaks out a little bit my GPS just completely flips out so I don't know why it does that but um, I've got a good internet connection I don't know I mean I've surpassed my top speed for the month of unlimited data I still have data but um, it it slows down during times of congestion so maybe right now is a time of congestion which is 1130 11:45 I don't know something like that so I don't know maybe I'll just sit here and make a video and talk to all of you but hmm what do I want to talk about well they said it was busy in a different area so I drove to that area and guess what still no orders oh my goodness you know what it's times like this when I think I really need to go back to nursing because there's always sick people and they are always wanting you to come and see them so I don't know maybe this is a sign from God all I know is I need to make some money today okay I just got a message through the app that said I missed a delivery opportunity but I didn't get the text I got no notification that they wanted me to make a delivery so that's not good Okay, now I know the app is totally freaking out because I just got sent a text late for the last order, I think, and then I got another text stating that I missed another delivery order. I started a chat session and I am, check this out. There's a whole lot of people in line waiting to talk to support. So now I know today is a bad day to dash, so I'm gonna go get some groceries and just head home. You know what, it's a wash. Whew. Finally got an order, yay! Okay y'all, today was not good. The Dasher app kept flowing up on me. I did end up getting some orders, but I didn't even make 30 bucks. So I decided to call it quits and went and got some groceries. So I went to the Walmarts, and just like everybody else has said, the shelves are bare. They are bare. I was looking for some non-iodized uh, salt to uh, do some um, sauerkraut with over the next couple of days. No salt. There was kosher salt, which is not on ice. Um, there was sea salt. So I got some sea salt, and it's much more expensive than just the plain old non iodized salt. I mean, you can get pickling salt too, but that's so much more expensive. We're talking beans. There were no dried beans. I wanted to get some dried bread kidney beans. I wanted to get some black beans. And most of the canned beans were also gone. I couldn't, I couldn't freaking believe it. I mean, things like rice. Um, there was no meat, basically no meat. No beef, no pork, no chicken. And the canned stuff is gone too. I just could not believe it. I mean, y'all know how I feel about this. But whatever, I got I got what I needed and I refused to pay more for, you know, brands and whatnot that were way more expensive. So I'll just have to wait till all this madness dies down and go get the rest of my groceries. I got some eggs. I'm gonna pickle some more eggs. I got the last head of cabbage. Thank God it was a healthy looking one. I want to make some sauerkraut oh <sighs> well I don't want to drive and be doing this so uh, I'll talk at y'all later big extra left me a question or a comment about a veil on the mushroom I didn't notice it but I'm gonna go look at him right now and see if he's right all I have to say is wow wow look at the difference and he's right he is absolutely right. All right, let's see if we can get this in focus. This thing right here, that is the 
I don't know, there's a technical term for it, but it's the remnants of a veil. So let me see if I can get underneath this to see what it looks like. Would you look at that? Look, see that, oops. That is the remnants of the veil. So what happens, and look, it's got gills, so I know what this is. It's got gills, it's definitely not a chicken mushroom, not even freaking close. But see those beautiful gills? That is a telltale sign, and this is a very special kind of oyster mushroom. Okay, it's really hard for you guys to see, but they started out like a little button, just like a thumb, like that little one off to the right is starting, and they are all covered up, and eventually they burst free of this veil that is covering the stalk and the top. And then as the mushroom grows, it just kind of fans out. And eventually these are gonna have gills underneath of them too. So, oh my goodness. Yup, and look at this. Okay, let's see if I can show you this one. All right, you can see it a little bit better. Um, <coughs> my camera's trying to focus on the stick. Uh, you can see the veil that has broken free. Those are gills. They are going down the stalk and eventually these are gonna fan out and look really, really beautiful. They already do look very, very beautiful. But, yep, I know exactly what these are. They are veiled oyster mushrooms and they are edible and they are delicious. So, not all is lost. Um, at least I know positively what they are and then I won't die if I eat them. <sighs> it has been a vastly unproductive day so I'm just gonna sit here have a glass of wine and go put my groceries away kinda chill out and maybe maybe go to bed early because I've got a bunch of projects to do tomorrow and they're all gonna be in the kitchen I'm gonna pickle some more eggs I'm gonna make some sauerkraut oh and I'm going to modify the composting toilet so it's going to be a fun fun day I'm really really sorry this has been such a sucky video <laughs> that's all I got for you guys see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one